Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching and we're in statics, we're going to do problem 2.56, okay? It says, if the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the bracket is to be 450 newtons, you reckon along the positive U axis, so this axis over here, determine the magnitude of F of 1, this guy, and its direction and its angle. So. Uh, they're giving us the resultant force and also they're giving us the direction of the resultant force because it's 30 degrees from the x-axis. So first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to decompose the resultant into its uh, Cartesian vector form. So we know that R, it's the magnitude is 450 newtons and its angle is actually 30 degrees. So if I want to find r in the x direction, what I'm going to do is that it's going to be 450 multiplied by the cosine of 30 degrees. Okay? So if we do that, we get 450 multiplied by the cosine of 30. This will give us 389.7 newtons. The resultant in the y direction is going to be 450 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees. So it's going to be 450 sine of 30 and this will give us 225 newtons. Okay? So why did I discompose these guys? Well, the sum of f of 3, f of 2 and f of 1 in the x direction should give me 389 and same for the y the sum of these three guys should add up all to all the way to 225 newtons so let's just start by decomposing f of 2 and f of 3 which are the ones that we know so the first one f of 2 which is the easiest one f of 2 is going to be 200 all into the x direction for f of 3, we're going to do a little bit more of work in the x direction. It's going to be equal to, so they're giving us a similar triangle. So we're going to, what we're going to do is that we're going to multiply by the amount that this, the side that we're looking for, in this, case, in this case, the x direction, 5, divided by its hypotenuse, so 13. And this fraction, we're going to multiply it by the actual magnitude. That way, we can find the f of 3 in the x direction. So we got 260 multiplied by 5 and divided by 13. This will give us 100 newtons. Okay? For f of 3 in the y direction, is going to be really similar but instead of a 5 we're going to use a 12 because that's the side of the similar triangle we're using so it's going to be 12 divided by 13 multiplied by 260 and this will give us so 12 multiplied by 260 divided by 13 is going to equal 240 newtons okay so what we're going to use is that we know that the resultant in the x direction got to be f of 1 in the x direction plus f of 2 in the x direction plus f of 3 in the x direction. So if we follow that, we know that r in the x direction is going to be 389.7 equal to f of 1 in the x direction, which we don't know yet, plus f of 2 in the x direction, which is actually 200, plus f of 3, which is, um, in the x direction, 100 newtons. So, if we solve for f of 1 in the x direction, we get that f of 1 is in the x direction is going to be equal to 389.7 minus 200 minus 100. And this will give us 89.7. Newtons. Okay, now let's do the same but for the y direction. So the resultant in the y direction gotta be equal to f of 1 in the y direction plus 
f of 3 in the y direction. Why not f of 2? Well, f of 2 doesn't have anything in the y direction, so that's why I'm not including it. So if we do that, we have that 225 is going to be equal to f of 1 in the y direction, which we don't know yet. And we need, this guy is a negative actually, I always forget those negatives. Minus 240 newtons. So if we solve for f of 1 in the y direction, it's going to be 225 plus 240, which will give me 600, uh, 465 newtons. Okay? So they want the magnitude. So in order to do the magnitude, what I'm going to do is that we're going to apply Pythagorean theorem for f of 1. So let's draw a separation line up here so we don't get confused. So f of 1, its magnitude is going to be equal to the square root of uh, the x direction square, which is 89.7 squared plus the y direction, which is 465 squared. Okay, if we use a calculator, we find that the magnitude is going to be equal to, let's see, 89.7 square plus 465 square it's equal to 473.6 newtons okay now i don't want us to find the angle phi so phi so in order to do phi we're going to do the inverse tangent so the opposite is going to be the value of the x direction and the adjacent is going to be the value of the y, f of 1 y. So we're gonna see that phi is actually equal to the inverse tangent of the x value, which is 89.7 divided by its y value, which is 465. So in total, phi is going to be equal to it's in the calculator, it's going to be 89.7 divided by 465, we took the inverse tangent of that, and we get that the angle is 10.9 degrees. So, here, that's the answer, this is going to be the answer for the magnitude, and this is going to be the answer for its direction, okay? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.